another exciting day and how it wouldn't be because well here is the reason and you can see the wallpaper right there at the back what are we going to talk about today we have arctic liquid freezer 2 this is actually 280 millimeter radiator so we have two 140 millimeter fans and we're going to unbox i'm going to show you what the box contains what does it support and stuff like that and of course we're going to do some thermal test to see how it actually performs. You might have seen on Instagram uh, and other news that they have 240, 280 and even 360. So this is really interesting for Arct Arctic to produce AIOs, finally, uh, which they kind of diverse from the standard air cooling watch what they actually did so far. So let's start with the box quickly. Uh, it says here newly developed PWM controlled pump. It says maintenance free water loop, uh, motherboard VRM cooling fan. Uh, you also have integrated cable management, uh, pressure optimized fans. We already did the P fans a couple of times. I think it was one or two times actually. I can't remember exactly. And ready for extreme overclocking. Now we'll check the box content first. Of course, we have here, let's see, I think these are the brackets for the motherboard sockets and to mount the uh, cooler for the, the CPU block for the processor yeah as I can see here and you get the MX4 thermal paste of course as well now here we have uh, now this is really interesting I didn't expect this because as you can see right here let me just remove this as you can see right here, the fans are already attached to the radiator, which is actually the first time I'm seeing something like this. Uh, let's check the CPU block. This is actually the, really, the most interesting thing right here. Okay, here we go. Let's see this. Now it has a different approach, definitely. You have a different um, pipes going here. As you can see, they have uh, some different design than usual that you get with other manufacturers. And let's check out the radiator. There we go. So we have here everything connected already. This is extremely cool because you don't have to worry about the cables from the fans. And to be honest, I don't know what to say. I'm honestly really surprised. But the best thing about it, you just connect one cable. And I would say this is something that is definitely an innovation, uh, not an extreme innovation they just hidden the cables but uh, definitely something that everybody should start working on and trying to hide the cables as much as they can uh, basically the design is pretty normal arctic style no rgb no lights it has a nice design even with the fan on the uh, pump for the vrms but the design of this CPU block is really cool, uh, especially with the fan. And I'm really curious about the noise level of it. Will it make an extra noise? Uh, how will the pump sound? Of course, that as well. And, well, I don't think we have to mention the Arctic fans because we already tested them a couple of times. And they are always silent. The only thing that I'm really curious is are the temperatures so basically we're going to test the arctic liquid freezer to 280 millimeter radiator uh two 140 millimeter fans uh on the amd ryzen 7 3800x without a doubt it's going to be interesting since we did test uh, on 3700x and i think it's time to go up a bit so yeah, let's go, I'm going to assemble it, place it all in a build and then we're going to run some tests and final conclusions. Okay guys, so we placed the Arctic Liquid Freezer 2 280 inside this Bitphoenix uh, Sabre case right on front since it doesn't have space for the 
280 radiator on top and it's like this the first thing that I did with was the mistake that you can't flip the fans you can unscrew the fans of course and turn them around which will make a, a pull combination from the radiator and do the cold air uh, inside the case so the first thing that comes here is the radiator then you have the fans uh, in other words I think you could place the fans in front of the radiator but that's something we have to do for another thing for another video definitely now here are the results when gaming on medium settings we have here uh, PUBG full medium the temperature on the CPU with 20% load is 46 uh, Celsius degrees and then after a while during the game I decided to switch to uh, high settings, high details and the temperatures were 50 Celsius degrees but the load wasn't that big and I think I completely understand why is it uh, why are the temperatures like that so we're going to do something completely different uh, I have a heavy load here application that runs a stress test on the CPU so we're going to push it and we're going to see so okay the temperature uh, the load on the CPU is 100% and we have temperature currently going 65 degrees but what does it say here on the box we have here the uh, specifications with the pump and the fans the two fans that you get with uh, the uh, that you get with the liquid freezer too so the pump rpm is going from 800 to 2000 controlled by pwm you have the vrm fan as well which goes up from 1000 to 3000 rpms and then you have the fan speed which go from 200 to 1700 rpms uh, apart from the uh, hard tubes a bit harder tubes than you're usually used to uh, it's a really decent cooler and uh, this is something that I have to say because we have the liquid freezer effectively cools AMD and Intel processors this is what they stated I'm confirming for the AMD currently in almost complete silence now this is what we had on their fans on the CPU tower coolers which you saw my reviews on the eSports uh, 33, 34, duo, single, whatever I had everything tested and they were doing it perfectly fine uh, you have the water loop sealed therefore no water or additives have to be refilled but some other uh, main information that you need to know so the power consumption is 1 to 2.7 watts uh, for the pump and the VRM fan cold plate micro skewed fin copper uh, tube length is 45 centimeters tube diameter is the outer one is 12.4 millimeters the dimension of the the block for the CPU is uh, the white is uh, 78 millimeters and when